Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the important topic in NEED Geology 2 about animal husbandry which comes under the theme strategies for enhancement in food production coming under the unit biology in human welfare. No, animal husbandry. You know, across the globe, the rate of population is rapid and it poses a greater challenge to the food production. That means there should be a proportionate increase in the food production with respect to the population growth. For that, search for alternate novel technologies becoming a regular event, say in the way of animal husbandry, plant breeding, particularly the modern technologies like um, embryo transfer technology, tissue cultural techniques play a pivotal and an indispensable role in enhancing the food production. So the objective of this class is to how animal husbandry plays its part in enhancing the food production. You know, what is animal husbandry? Animal husbandry is nothing but it's an agricultural practice for rearing, that means for breeding and raising of livestock. That means it generally implied that it includes caring and breeding of livestock like buffaloes, you know, sheep, cattle, cows, etc. for human consumption. The, yeah, the objective of animal husbandry is for human consumption only. That means we are, we are uh, breeding, we are raising livestock for human consumption. That's, in, that's the main objective of an you know, animal husbandry, you know. That means uh, breeding and raising of livestock for human consumption for human consumption is animal husbandry okay the thing is you know since time immemorial so humans used to use honey bees the silkworm the cattle the birds for honey the silk the sheep etc since time immemorial that means we have the habit uh, or else we have habituated to use different animals for our human consumption here the thing is the livestock percentage of uh, india and china combined is more than 70 percentage but unfortunately their contribution that means these two giants india and china their contribution to the world farm produce is less than or in and around 25 percentage estimate states that that means the productivity is very low though they have a, a huge size of livestock but the productivity is very less that's a matter of con you know, uh, concern because i told you now the ultimate objective of uh, uh, principles like animal husbandry is to enhance the food production in, uh, we'll be discussing about different things okay under animal husbandry today the most important thing is animal breeding animal breeding i told you already the objective is to enhance food production for human consumption that's it with respect to animal breeding it is to increase the yield of the animals at the same time increasing the quality of the produce the objective of animal breeding is to you know increase the yield increase the yield of animal the same time increasing the quality quality of produce so simply means both quantity and quality we, we we are we are not just bothering about the quantity but the quality as well that's the sole objective you know quantity plus quality the ultimate objective of animal breeding is that okay what exactly the word breed? Breed are nothing but a group of animals related by descent, which are similar in most of the characters like appearance, the size, the features, the configuration, etc. They are that means because they are closely related, because there is a descent relationship. They are known as breed. And we are allowing different breeds, and based on the kind of breeds that in breeding, we have two different kinds of breeding, you know. In breeding, inbreeding 
and outbreeding in breeding and outbreeding in neat examination point of view these two are important topic you know particularly we should have a strong clarity on the concept the specific knowledge on the distinct definitions because there is a subtle difference between among the different definitions of breeding aspects because say there are different words which should be very very specific about the technological words used in the animal breeding like you know inbreeding outbreeding in outbreeding again there are different words like outcrossing crossbreeding interspecific hybridization we should have knowledge about these things okay particularly its definitions okay let us discuss about animal breeding you know animal breeding inbreeding and outbreeding here inbreeding inbreeding the word it imply the breeding of individuals that means animals which are closely related which are belong to one particular breed up to 4 to 6 generations simply that means the crossing or the breeding of animals which are closely related belong to one, the same breed up to 4 to 6 generations these are very important the three words the three things in inbreeding they be all be, they all belong to same breed they all belong to same breed okay and they are closely related that means there is strong genetical correlation that means genetical closeness what we call closely related and maintaining the same in breeding up to four to six generations this is very important point that means mating of individuals but mating of closely related individuals within the same breed up to four to six generations is in breeding same breed closely related in breeding uh, four to six generations this is very very important how we do it say we particularly pick up a say for example x is a what particular breed say x1 is a superior female and x2 is a superior male x1 is superior female and it is superior male what exactly is superior male that means the best in the breed we want the superior female x1 and superior male x2 we we allow the breeding and we'll get the progeny we'll get the progeny in progeny we will evaluate and pick up the best that means again superior female and the superior male and again continue the breeding likewise here the thing is the object i told you already we have to pick up the best so as to increase the yield and the quality as well but the, there is one, one more thing in case of you know animal breeding that means what we call a strategy that means homozygosity the strategy for homozygosity why we are follow why we are allowing the closely related animals why we are allowing only the inbreeding why only inbreeding because we are expecting pure lines that means homozygous pure lines you know what the significance of this strategy is you know at each step you will select say it leads to accumulation of superior genes and the exposing of the harmful residue genes that leads to the elimination by the selection at the same time you know elimination of the undesirable genes as well that means we want only the accumulation of superior genes. That means our desired qualities. We want specific qualities, what we call superior genes. Otherwise, known as desirable characters. Desirable characters. At each step, we'll do it. This is stepwise, actually, no. At each step. Likewise, we'll keep on accumulating. Since, since such a way that leads to pure maintenance of pure lines, that means homozygosity, is the same strategy followed by the Mandel in case of garden pea, and same in case of you know uh, we have uh, animal breeding like cattle will follow. So uh, we are discussing about superior female and male. What exactly? Say in case of cattle, with respect to superior female means a buffalo or cow having higher lactation. In case of male, that means bull have higher ability. That means progeny. That means best progeny ability. That means their best progeny producing ability. When compared to others, that's the meaning of superior female and male. So ultimately, leads no homozygous pure lines. So, but it's all about one side of the coin. These are all advantages of inbreeding. But 
because of regular means allowing we, we are allowing closely related animals that leads to what we call inbreeding depression you know that leads to inbreeding depression that means allowing breeding of too much close related animals leads to a phenomenon called inbreeding depression inbreeding depression you know because it leads to reduction of uh, fertility and productivity fertility and productivity what the solution say it's simple the that means we select a, a particular breed, uh, animal of belonging to a, a particular breed we will allow to breed with another unrelated animal that means another unrelated superior animal of the same breed the concept is simple this superior animal which is unrelated but still belong to same breed that means the point is same distant genetical correlation no more close close relationship no more close uh, that means distant relationship they 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 do belong to same breed but there is a distant genetic relationship so that what we call unrelated superior animals will be used to restore or to avoid inbreeding depression so as to restore the fertility and the productivity to restore the fertility and the productivity that's the point of inbreeding okay so the simple we allow the closely closely related and that means breeding of closely related animals within the same breed for four to six generations likewise okay then uh, so outbreeding the next concept of uh, you know animal breeding is outbreeding i told you already now the definition the conceptual clarity with respect to definition the contextual specificity is most important here okay outbreeding it is again of three kinds you know outcrossing cross breeding cross breeding then interspecific hybridization interspecific hybridization outcrossing cross breeding and interspecific hybridization we have to compare these things because there is a subtle differences see what is outcrossing here in general outbreeding i told you already inbreeding means simple mating of uh, animals belong to same breed outbreeding means mating of animals belong to different breeds but specifically it is mating of that was breeding of unrelated animals breeding of unrelated animals related animals okay is that is that the same concept amongst that means amongst all the three kinds of uh, breeding no there is a, there is a difference outcrossing means here the breeding of animals which are belong to the same breed but does not have a common ancestor for four to six generations that's i told already subtle difference will be there between amongst different definitions okay outcrossing means they all animals that mean animals belong to the same breed there is no doubt about that same breed but there is no common ancestor this is very important no common ancestor for that means on either side of the pedigree that means in both male and female you know partners in either side of the pedigree in, uh, in up to four to six generations that's the outcrossing and the individual is called outcross outcross i will tell you in a simplified way okay that means I love that breeding of animals which are belong to the same breed but does not have a common ancestors up to four to six generations and the and the individual that means coming out that means uh, is, is known as outcross that means the progeny okay okay cross breeding the word it implied the breeding of animals which belong to different breeds the breeding of animals which belong to different breeds that's it the concept is same here it's the same interspecific the word it implied breeding of animals which belong to different species different species you know breeding of animals which belong to different species. this is very very important okay same breed no common ancestors for 
up to 14 generations is outcrossing breeding amongst different that mean animals belong to different breeds cross breeding crossing or breeding of animals belong to different species interspecific hybridization okay let us take a, a simple illustration for better understanding okay then how it for, that means for convenience and for better, better understanding you know hybridization see outcrossing I told you now same breed but distantly related that means they don't have common ancestor say x1 female the best what we call superior female and xy y that means it depicts the point that they doesn't have a common ancestor or they are distantly related that means distant genetical correlation say in case of inbreeding we have used this phenomenon x1 and x2 but same here but xy which means there is a distant genetical correlation that's outcrossing okay in case of cross breed the word implied belong to different breeds say x is one breed and a is another breed simple x is one breed and a is another breed interspecific hybridization come to different species that means mating of uh, male and female parents which are belong to different species say x and one altogether different that's the point okay say for example you know outcrossing yeah, we would have discussed about how to avoid inbreeding depression outcross will avoid inbreeding depression the same breed okay but distant related avoid inbreeding depression inbreeding depression okay cross breeding okay say hisar dale hisar dale a hybrid sheep a hybrid sheep developed in punjab punjab by involving two different sheep you know one bikaneri eaves bikaneri eaves two merino rams merino rams merino ram is one breed bikaneri eaves is another breed and we are creating hisar dale is a hybrid sheep the objective of crossbreeding is simple i told you already now for human consumption for economical viability we should commercially use this animal for different human consumptions or purposes that's the sole objective hisar dale is for human consumption ultimately okay then in case of interspecific hybridization it all the same some of the progeny have economical viability say that for example in a mule a sterile animal resultant because you know between let me cross between male donkey male donkey and female horse male donkey and female horse leads to mule but it is sterile so ultimate objective is for commercial you know commercial viability say for example you know for outcrossing it is best suited for the animals which are below average in milk productivity so with these are all i told you now to increase the quantity that means the yield and the quality as well so outcrossing crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization okay these are all about different conventional breeding techniques but i told you already now we are searching for novel and advanced modern technologies so as to enhance the food production let us discuss some of the important things that in techniques under this head say we are we'll be discussing about cross breeding experiments cross breeding experiments sorry controlled breeding experiments controlled breeding experiments controlled breeding experiments is done by artificial insemination you know artificial insemination artificial insemination how say we'll cut the semen from a desired male parent and inject with the help of a breeder into the reproductive tract of the selected female parent because 
in normal matings we cannot conduct certain breeding process but here the desirable mating can be done by this artificial insemination and also it can avoid or overcome the problems associated with the natural mating that's uh, say we, we, we want uh, we will come semen from one particular animal either we use immediately or be frozen or, uh, or we, can, we will freeze it for uh, so that it can use it for a later, at a later date the same that means the semen will be used and that means injected with the help of a breeder into the reproductive of desired female parent in natural conditions it may not be possible but the, this mating of desirable parents is possible by the artificial insemination this is very important okay under controlled breeding experiments but the thing is it is not that much successful not that much successful so to get the success to increase the rate of successful production of hybrids we adopted another technique called you know MOET multiple ovulation embryo transfer embryo transfer technology multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology MOET multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology it is to increase the herd you know improvement of herd the objective is to improvement of improvement of herd oh how this procedure i uh, know work out say we'll inject follicle stimulating like hormone we'll inject fsh follicle stimulating like hormone into the selected female what happens you know this follicle stimulant that leads to two concepts in follicle maturation follicle maturation and super ovulation that means production of six to eight eggs in general we'll expect one egg per cycle but it's super ovulation six to eight in numerous six I mean six to eight will be produced then we'll non-surgically recover the fertilized egg at 8 to 232 cell stage that means fertilized egg fertilized egg at 8 to 2 8 to 32 cell stage we we'll recover non-surgically and inject into the surrogate mother into the and inject into the surrogate mother The thing is, first we'll FFS, that means with the help of follicle stimulating hormone like hormone, we'll induce super ovulation. Later, we'll allow breeding, that means uh, in the two ways, either an allied bull will be used for breeding or second method, artificial insemination. The help of breeding will inject. Then, we'll get the fertilized egg at uh, 8 to 32 cell stage. We'll recover and, in, and transfer into the surrogate mother the same the concept is simple it is called genetical mother it is called genetical mother genetical mother it is called surrogate mother we why we are not allowing the genetical mother for embryonic development why are why are, why are we not using because to avoid the exhaustion because genetical mother is a female with desirable character so we should allow we are we're preserving that genes we are preserving that, 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 that particular animal preciously and surrogate mother will be used for the embryonic development say for example high milk yielding female and the high meat producing male that means meat producing male meat lean meat with less lipid will be bred successfully so that head will be improved that leads to herd improvement higher milk producing females and higher meat producing males ultimately leads to herd improvement that's the point in, uh, in case of uh, multiple ovulation embryo transfer I told you now embryo transfer technology are plays a pivotal role or indispensable role in enhancing the food production so it's about different uh, novel techniques okay associated with the animal breeding apart from animal breeding there are other things or components associated with animal husbandry what we call management management of management of 
farm and farm animals farm and farm animals management of farm and farm animals you know traditionally we used to manage different farms as I say for example dairy farming poultry farming so as to get the milk and its products but this traditional approaches has to be dealt with in a professional manner where is professional dealing of farm practices or farm principles so as to enhance its yield ultimate the concept is safe to enhance the yield in a much sophisticated manner say take for example dairy farming we'll take the example of dairy farming you know dairy farming dairy farming is management of animals for milk and milk produce say how will how, how it will done that means to enhance the quality of milk that means uh, to and uh, to increase the yield and quality to increase the yield and quality is that with this objective of dairy farming okay then for that we want a specific best breed breed means high that means high yielding potential in tune of that specific climatic condition that means under appropriate climatic conditions come in combination of this is resistance okay climatic conditions climatic conditions plus disease resistance plus disease resistance and that's that particular breed will be used for the milk production but to realize that potentiality we have to follow certain practice at all in a professional approach say proper housing adequate water adequate water scientific feed scientific feed then regular that means the inspections Vet veterinary doctor visits that means cleanliness plus what we call you no know, uh, sterile conditions sterile conditions means free of unwanted pathogens free of that means free from contaminations most of these are nowadays where we are using mechanized approaches so proper housing adequate water scientific feed in regular inspections and keeping a record and with veterinary doctors ultimately besides is cleanliness that means the handler who are using the that means who are collecting the milk the storage of milk they have to keep it pro properly that means the they have to you know storage it properly and they should be sterile free 